Hey, what's up YouTube? How you guys doing out there? And welcome to the Walls Way, where every day we feed chickens, we talk to chickens, and we collect eggs from chickens. I want to thank you guys for tuning in on this nice, beautiful day. Nice, pretty Thursday. Got a nice weather pattern, what we had yesterday. Chickens. What's going on? Are we hungry today, chickens? Yeah, I say we're always hungry. So today's special chicken treats. I have some cantaloupe, some cucumber with a little bit of cheese. I got some squash on the bottom. There's some more of the cheese. And I got a King's Hawaiian sweet roll that I took a bite out of just because it smelled so good. So we're going to go ahead and feed our chickens. Let's go ahead and toss this sweet Hawaiian roll that somebody took a bite out of. Go ahead and pop that in there. Let's go ahead and get on in here. Yep, yep, yep. Chickens, are we hungry? Who was swinging? Chick, chick, chick. Make sure that squash comes out of there. It tends to stick a little bit. There we go. So we got cantaloupe, cheesy cucumbers, squash, and a Hawaiian sweet roll. All right, let's go ahead and go get our food. Get that scooped out, because I know the babies are hungry. Got a mushroom growing right there. Have to be sure and hit that with the lawnmower. All right, sit you guys right there for the time being. Scoop out some food. About time to fill the bucket back, or the barrel back up. Getting a little low on this feed. See if we can get some corn out. I hadn't went and got no corn yet. Turn it upside down. Yeah, so we got us a nice bit of corn. There might be another scoop left in there. I'm gonna go this weekend and get some. Get you guys picked back up. It is a hot one today. Well over 90 degrees today. That is North Carolina for you. Excuse me, girls. Don't y'all dart out that door. I hate having to track kids down. I'm gonna put some corn right here. So I do got corn. Corn on top. Layer feed on bottom. Excuse me. Excuse me. I hate to dump it on them like that, but they don't really get out of the way, do they? How are the babies doing? So we're getting big. Yep. In about another week or so. I'm going to let you guys out. Oh, no. Oh, we got a casualty. I did not see that. Well, we're going to have to take care of that. We'll get to that here in just a second. See, somebody, somebody did not make it. That is no good. All right. Well, that is very unfortunate, but that does happen. So now we have 27 chickens. I hate to hate to see that, but that's kind of how it goes with chickens. They're here with you one day and they're gone the next. All right, girl, let me get out of here. We're going to get some eggs. And then when I get done filming, we'll We'll probably bury the little chicken that did not make it. That's sad. I hate that. But it does happen. That's completely unpredictable. That's probably the 20th chicken or something like that that I have lost. But it wasn't due to lack of food and water. Um, could have just gotten sick. Could have been, I don't know, could have been stung by a bee. 
never know. It could have been anything, really. I hate that happened. Hope you guys don't think less of me. It wasn't nothing I did. I could have prevented. Could have been stepped on. I did have a baby. That happened to it also. Just got stepped on. All right. So let's go ahead and get some eggs. And then we're going to have to tend to the baby. This might be a short video just because I did not know that. All right, number four. We are empty. Speaking of empty, I got an empty carton right here. And then we got one egg in number three. Number two, we have one, two, three, four, five, six eggs. And number one, we have three eggs. So let's go ahead and get started here. It's number three. Go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna move over here to number two. I am trying to speed this up a little bit because I did not know that we had a casualty today. I hate that happened. So we're gonna try and move this along just because I don't want it to stay in there and suffer. Well, it ain't gonna suffer, but I don't want it to stay in there any longer than it has to. But, uh, I don't want to cut this video short, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You guys hang tight, and I'll be back in just a second. Hang tight. All right, guys, welcome back. So, during the break, I went ahead. I took the babies out of their cage. I figured now's as good a time as any to let them get used to the other chickens. And as you can see, we already got one right here, a little curious about some squash. Um, I did establishing pecking order i did go ahead and fill up their water with some clean water i noticed the water was just a little bit dirty um i don't know if that helped contribute to the baby chicken's unfortunate demise but i thought if anything it wouldn't hurt to have some clean water right and i went ahead and like i said i let them out they are getting used to the adults getting used to pecking order and whatnot um, I don't know if it's a combination of the heat or like I said, if maybe a bee stung it or something, one of them got stepped on. I don't know. It's very sad, but anybody knows anything about chickens, it is common. So hopefully these six right here, they'll be, be okay. We got six, right? One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. We have six babies, 27 chickens total. So hopefully we'll all be okay. I think it is maybe just the heat. It is hot, well over 90 degrees. But like I said, I figure sooner or later that we're going to let them out. Now's a good time as any, let them get adjusted. Maybe they'll do a little bit better. I am curious to where they're going to sleep tonight. I do have a small perch right there in the back that I've had for a while for the other baby chickens. For these guys right here so we're establishing our pecking order but this is part of life kind of didn't give you guys the, the video of them eating all their food uh, definitely not one of the better videos i've done but everything's a learning curve you know you do kind of figure stuff out as you go I hate we lost the chicken, but uh, as bad as it sounds, it happens. Uh, as far as our eggs, Wesson, what are you doing, girl? Shoo, shoo, girl. As far as our eggs, we have gotten six, seven, eight, nine, ten beautiful eggs. What do you think, Wesson? Those good looking eggs? You like those? One of them yours? Did you lay one of those, old girl? Don't walk on the egg. No, ma'am, don't peck at the eggs. That's not very ladylike. Yep, yep. I don't know what time it was when we ended the video. I think it was around six or seven minutes. I do try to keep a 15 minute video, but sometimes you sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you get candy bar, and sometimes you get the wrapper. But I think we're gonna be all right. We're gonna keep an eye on these little six over here. Uh, really the only thing I'm worried about is them running out through the fence and stuff like that But if they can get out then they should be able to get back in and out here in the yard There is no food or water 
So if they want food or water, they'll probably just stay in here. Okay, we're getting adjusted. Getting it all figured out. Well, guys, I hate to give you guys such a crummy short video. But I'm going to go ahead and end it off right here. I think we've covered about everything we can cover today. Um, not going to lie, a little, little upset we lost the baby. I uh, wish... I could have known how to prevent that, but that's chicken farming 101. Just kind of, kind of happens. But um, again, you guys, I am sorry. I hope you still like the channel. I hope this has been a somewhat okay video. Um, again, I do apologize, but stick with me. We'll get better. Hopefully, we won't lose any more chickens. Uh, that being said, I hope everybody out there is having a great day. I hope you have a better day than me. Uh, as always, do please continue to like, share, and subscribe. And see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. See you later.